Hi Speechies, it's Lisa. Welcome back to Speech Fairies. Today I have a little haul from Mastermind Toys. So I was in Mastermind Toys and I was looking around. They had 60% off some selected items. So I found some things that I thought were worth picking up. There's something that I've been looking at but I didn't want to pay a regular price so I was very excited to see that they were on sale. So we're going to pull them out one by one. A blue nut. It's an acorn. These are the little woodsies, bobblies, and this one's series three. And these are like really big kind of acorns. Now why I wanted them was for the acorns themselves because I like to hide different speech and language targets inside of them but they also have a really cute little critter inside so this is what the regular price was way too much so that's why I didn't get them initially but when they were on sale then I did so I pre-cut a lot of them so I could get into them quicker less editing so we're gonna get inside and see what there is in there so they're like cute little collectibles they kind of remind me of calico critters Here's the nut, they're so cute. And they're a good size. So inside, we of course get the checklist. And a critter, Woodsy. This one's super cute. This one is a raccoon, and they are bobbleheads. A little girl raccoon with her little sunflower and little dress. So that is who we got for this one. They are pretty cute. So we put the nut back together, we can use it. And it has a little kind of hole there too. So if we wanted to use hooks or anything and hook them on a tree, you could. And kids can go and unhook a nut and bring it over to the table, open it up and do whatever target I want them to do. Okay, let's quickly. Okay, let's nut. Oh, we got a different one. Oh my gosh! We got a little piggy. OMG, he's so cute. A little piggy bobblehead. It looks like he's a little builder. Maybe one of the three little pigs. I could use this one if I was using to do some of my storytelling. That's the nice thing about all the fables is there are animals in them and you can use some of these cute little animals in the retelling of some of the fables. So he's super cute. Next. Purple! Oh, I actually opened this one already. Just I couldn't wait. I was in the car and I couldn't wait. So this one is a little skunk. He's so cute. He says hello. They don't have tails, but he's got jeans on, so I guess that makes sense. I don't like it when toys don't make sense. They have, the nuts have this little notch, which is a little bit annoying. You have to make sure the notch lines up in order to get the snap on. I mean, let's see. It is green. Okay, ready? This one has like little clovers all over it. They have different textures on the top. Maybe it's a chipmunk. Maybe we got the owner of the nuts. The chipmunk, her head's really wobbly. There we go. She's got a little nut on her shirt, so I think she is a chipmunk. She's wearing a little dress and she's got whiskers. Very, very cute. My goal when I buy these two is I usually get two of each color so that I can always work on same and different if I'm giving the kiddos to follow some directions. I like to do same and different and then this one's good for top and bottom as well concepts. It's another green one. Quick unwrap. Pop the top. Good writing. Oh, I think this is a fox. This is awesome. I love little foxes! I also like them before that song came out. He has a star on his overalls, little whiskers. He's a sneaky fox. He would be great for the retail of the gingerbread man. Although I don't want to put him in the water because they're all flocked. Super cute! Yellow! It's under up. Pop the top. Whoa! There goes the checklist. That's okay. And we got a hedgehog. 
a cute little hedgehog. It's a girl hedgehog. A she? If you want to work on he and she, you could. Look how bumpy and cute. Very cute little hedgehog. Blue! Guess my goat. Every time I see that $6.99 price tag. Too much. This one has two. Here it is. So let's polka dots. Let's pop the top. See who's inside. Oh my goodness! It's my little sailor outfit. Oh, what is this creature? It could be like a badger or something. He's got the little mask, and he is wearing a little sailor suit. Adorable. And a little sailor hat. I love the hat. Cute. I just noticed that when the Remember I showed you how they line up the little kind of nub and the hole here on the nut. So when they are like that, they close. These actually you can turn a little bit to the left or the right and it kind of locks it so you can't pull the top off. So this might be a good little gentle sabotage communication temptation because they'll give it to you to ask for help. And then you can open and pop the top. That's actually maybe an extra added bonus having to that little extra kind of lock on it. So that's kind of cool. Brown nut. Pop the top. There we go. Maybe we get a double. No, I think we got Mama Bear. That's Mama Bear. And look at the bling. Wow. She is great. I'm spring sometimes you just have to kind of turn them and fix them. This is Mama Bear. She'll be good for storytelling. She's adorable. Next we have a pink nut. So we'll pop the top and see who we got. Oh no, we got a double! I'll send this one to someone. It is Mr. Sailor Suit Badger again. But I'll just leave him in his wrapper. But I'm keeping the nut because I need it. I need to have two of each color. I do have a box swap coming up with um, another channel. Her channel name is Crazy Toys, so you can go check her out. I'll try to link her channel in the description. It's C R A Z E E Toys, Crazy Toys. In Canada, we say Z instead of Z, in case you're confused. Here's another purple one. So we'll pop the top. And we got another one, a different one. This one is a little froggy. I'm getting lots of girls, actually. She's got a little heart on her dress and a little flower in her hair. <laughs> so she's super cute. I love the color green. This one's awesome. All right, here's another yellow. Get into those. And pop the top. And oh good, we got another one, but another girl. Guess I won't be working on he, I'll be working on she. This one's wearing a little it's a cat, I think. And she's got a little hairband and a little dress. I guess it makes sense you might find some cats roaming the woods. So she's cute. I always try to buy 12 when I'm looking for the hide insides. Because I like to have 10 good solid trials and two as a warm up. So, or two if something goes wrong. Okay, last nut. Last one. Pop the top. Oh, good. Another different one. This one looks like a koala. I don't know. I guess there's different kinds of woods represented here. This one is from the Australian Outback. She's a little koala. She's super cute. Look at her nose. The plastic is pretty sturdy on these nuts as well. They're not squishy or anything like that. They're gonna hold their own for a while. So cute during a fall theme where we have to go and collect the nuts. We can pretend to be little squirrels or chipmunks. So I'm really happy with the selection we got. We only got one double, which was pretty good. And they're just so cute. So I guess I have a mix of series here. 
Chippy we got. We got the koala. Her name is Kiwi. We got the fox. His name is Frisco. We got the bear and her name is Bella. Bella is an ultra rare and the fox Frisco is a rare. So let's see who we have on series three. We did get Rusty Raccoon in series three. We got Percy Pig in series three. We got two Roscoes, those are the raccoons. Sunflower, that's the skunk. Farley, she's the frog. And Barley, Farley and Barley. Barley's the hedgehog. This girl series three as well, that's Callie. Those are the woodsies. Tell me who's your favorite down below in the comments section. My favorite is the fox. He's so sneaky. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below who your favorite character is so far. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I want to thank everyone for watching. We'll see you very soon. Bye for now, everyone.